So I have a little message today that I want to talk to y'all about and it's been a topic of discussion for a while now. It's called racism. There's black people on TV. So I watched this show called Bold and the Beautiful. It comes on CBS at what, 1230. I'm also a fan of some of the fan pages on the show like they have on Facebook and Twitter. The only thing I actually tweet about is this show. It's so awesome because they have an interracial couple in there and it's stirring up a lot of controversy. So I came across uh, a derogatory comment on one of my fan pages of a soap I watch. Um, it was quite disturbing and I just wanted you all to check it out because it's um, it's not cool. Look what this, look what it says. I can't stand her horrible actress. Get this nigger off the screen. What? I can't even speak proper English when even making an insult. One as big as that. At least have everything grammatically correct. Come on. Tris that he's talking about, her name's Carla Mosley, and I adore her. I freaking love her. I think her portrayal of the character that she's doing is wonderful. They're both doing great jobs to stir up so much controversy over this show. But I cannot believe that someone actually took the time to write on a fan page that you took time out of your day to be insulting to someone that you don't even personally know who's providing entertainment to the masses. Yeah, you're a real winner. I enjoy this show. I watch it every day. And one of the main reasons I watch the show is because of Carla Mosley. And really, Jacob Young. Oh my God, he is so fine. He is so delicious. And it's amazing to see an interracial couple on television, let alone daytime TV, steam it up. I love this show. But I beg of you, CBS. Don't fire this girl. She has no reason to get fired. I don't think y'all are actually contemplating doing it. But there's been so much negative comments about her character alone. And I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Could it be this? Could it be this? That she doesn't have the complexion for the protection? You gotta get used to it. If you have a problem with two people of the opposite race getting together, you might as well take two knives and stab them in your eyes because you're gonna be seeing a whole lot of brown. They're, we're turning the world brown. Next time you wanna make insults, why don't you do it face to face? See how big your balls really are. I have a really little, really little bitty ball. It just breaks my heart to see so many negative comments about this this actress's character. It is a fictional storyline. I hope y'all know this. This is not real. Um, but it just confuses me how we can still have people hating others just because of their skin color. I mean, if anybody could choose what they would look like, I think most people would change that and use that ability. But it's not reality, and that doesn't happen. So just enjoy the story for what it is regardless of the color of this woman's skin she is doing a great job for her to stir up this much controversy i mean i've, I've never seen anything like it i i also you know um have an inter, interracial child so it's nice to see real life real life uh, relationships depicted on television you know everybody isn't dating everyone of the same race we're all supposed to be connecting and evolving. That's what the world is. It's not just one thing, because if it was, it'd be a very boring place to live. I'm just hoping that as time goes on, we get to see more ethnicities and more diversity in, in television. And also showing um, the African-American race in a more positive light everything about our race of people isn't bad you know i'm probably the furthest thing from the stereotypical black girl the furthest but what what does it matter why should my race determine 
how I'm treated. Why should someone be so rude and mean, callous, to comment and to say such hateful things about someone? Like, who does things like that? Let's just shake off this negativity. Ooh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.